Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lego Lee 3 Tangan here, and today we have a brand new Lego Ninjago Air Jitsu Flyer. Zane won my most recent poll, so he is my next review. He contains about 42 pieces. Of course, all these sets retail for about 10 US dollars. Here's a front like a box. There is the back of the box, and included with the set is one structure made, about 17 pages of building. Of course, the one minifigure included with this set here is Zane, and unlike all the other ninjas from this Area 2 Flyer line, this figure is not exclusive, which, in my opinion, is extremely disappointing. That being said, he is a fantastic looking minifigure, but every other ninja is exclusive to the Area 2 Flyer sets. This one is not. He comes in a $30 set from this line, so that's kind of lame, but it is the cheapest way to get him, and his printing looks fantastic. I love it right there, and his face printing underneath his mask is awesome. His back printing is great as well. So overall, a great minifigure, just disappointing about the exclusiveness of it. And here's the weapon assortment included with this Zane Air Jitsu Flyer. The weapons here, honestly, are pretty lame. He has a pair of ice skates. Unfortunately, those are tiny pieces. I dropped one and was never able to find it again, so I lost that. He has those pieces that we saw from Galaxy Squad and Scarlet Witch from the Marvel Super Heroes line, which are kind of cool. In the middle there, he has an elven sword from Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit, which it's better than sausages, but it's still a little bit weird. And then the ice sword is the coolest weapon, and no pun intended, but it's still not that great. The blade is really clean. Here. There's not a whole lot of color. I think they could have made the colors a little bit more vibrant there. So the weapon assortment here is kind of disappointing. And honestly, the flyer is kind of the same way. Now the white and the gold looks very good towards the bottom. There's a nice look at his exclusive printed tile piece. That looks fantastic. What I don't like is the silver flyer piece itself. Now I understand that Zane is the Titanium Ninja and all. Of course, silver is kind of becoming part of his color scheme. It's just the silver here, this thing just seems like it should have been white. It would have made a whole lot more sense for the Ice Ninja to have a white flyer. Silver here, it's a nice color to get that piece in, but for Zane, I don't think it was the best choice. You're probably getting pretty used to this by now. You basically take that minifigure and put it in the little capsule piece right here. If I'm going to get the click into place. And then down in here, these two spots need to line up. When you hear the click, it is locked into place. You can put in the flyer, get the record, and it is ready to go. And like I demonstrated in my other reviews, these things work extremely, I mean extremely well. The Zane Flyer just hit my ceiling right there. They go really high up. And if you're outdoors, be warned because you can definitely get these things caught on a roof or caught in some trees. And that's something you don't want to do. So these things almost work a little bit too good, but they're really nice for playability. All right, guys, so I'm here on the Zane Air Jitsu Flyer. Zane has a very special place in my heart. The first Ninjago set that I ever built was his Dragon from Wave 1, and he has been my favorite ninja ever since. And if you guys have followed my reviews, especially for things like Hair Factory and Bionicle sets, the ice guys are always my favorite. I love ice color schemes, and this guy really disappoints. Besides hints of blue on the figure and the printed tile, and then of course the white pieces, it doesn't really feel all that icy to me, and it doesn't really look that great. The weapon selection is pretty bland and boring. The figure isn't exclusive. There's not really too much here. It's not quite as bad as the coal flyer, but it's closer to that level than it is to the other level of the other flyer. So this set here is gonna get a 6.3 out of 10. But those are just my thoughts. I'd love to hear yours in the comment section down below. Please tell me what you thought about this set. Also, guys, don't forget to like this video, share the video, share the video with all your friends. Go subscribe to my gaming channel. Go check out my eBay store, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. All those links in the description below. And I hope to see you guys next time on the Lego Jungle Set Reviews. I'll see you guys later. Bye.